עץ חיים היא למחזית עם בה, ותומכיה מאושר תרחיה, דחי נועם וכל נציבותיה שלום. Our Torah portion this week is Vayikra, known in English as Leviticus. By, the, by its English name, we know that this book, this third book of the Torah, uh, has something to do with the Levites, the priests in, in ancient Israel. And sure enough, there are lots of laws, lots of passages in Vayikra, in the book of Le Leviticus, that deal with the offerings that our ancient ancestors brought uh, to the priests to be offered before God. Now, the book of Leviticus also uh, contains uh, the dietary laws, the laws of Kashrut. Uh, it also contains something that we call the Holiness Code, which is a list of all sorts of <clears throat> wonderful ethical and moral precepts. What I want to uh, talk to you about uh, this, uh, this day is uh, a certain passage in Sedra Vayikra, beginning with uh, chapter, uh, chapter 4. It reads, The Eternal One spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the Israelite people thus. When people unwittingly, bishgaga is the word in Hebrew, when people unwittingly Incurs, uh, incur guilt to any of the Eternal's commandments about things not to be done. This is uh, to be done. And it goes on to talk about what's, uh, what's called the chatat, uh, a sin offering that people who have committed sins unwittingly uh, must offer. Now what is interesting here is that the Torah is directing its attention to, not to sins done consciously, but to sins done unconsciously. Well, certainly uh, in Judaism, we uh, consider sins done consciously, uh, intentionally, to be more serious than sins committed in error. But the Torah does not let us off the hook uh, for those sins that we uh, commit unwittingly. The Torah seems to be telling us uh, that we must be on guard, that we must be conscious, more conscious in our lives about the consequences of our actions. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. It seems to me there are lots of different kinds of people uh, in the world. There are those people who are very detailed oriented. These are the people, unlike me, <laughs> who read uh, the owner's manual before they plug in uh, the appliance. These are the people who read uh, the fine print in contracts. These people have a, a, positive, um, a positive influence in the world. You might say that they manifest uh, that old saying, God is in the details. But sometimes people can be obsessed with the details. Sometimes they fail to see the big picture. And as a result, um, uh, they, they get paralyzed. Uh, they can't take action because they're always uh, second-guessing themselves and they're, they're, they are so involved with the trees that they don't see the forest. You, for them, you might say that they manifest uh, that saying, the devil is in the details. There are other people, however, who do see the, the big picture. People who see the forest. People who are visionary. Often they're leaders. Often they are very charismatic. And they can have a great positive uh, influence on the world. But sometimes people who ignore the details, ignore uh, the small things of life, uh, can wreak havoc. Sometimes they can wreak havoc on, on the world. These are the type of people who love humanity, but uh, they're not so concerned with the damage or the hurt that they might cause individuals along 
the way. It seems to me that the, this week's Torah portion addresses that latter kind of person. The person who sees the big picture but fails to, to consider uh, the actions of the, uh, 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 the, the, uh, the results, uh, the effects of their actions that they don't think about. The details. The Torah is saying to us, we must live conscious lives and responsible lives. And that, yes, we must see the big picture, but we must also be aware of the consequences of every one of our actions. There is uh, a Hebrew word for uh, responsibility. It's achrayut. Some people suggest that the word achrayut comes from the word achar, which means after. Judaism seems to be teaching us that we must consider the unintended consequences of every action that we take. We must consider not just the effects of an action now, but the effects of our actions, not just in a large sense, but in a very detailed sense tomorrow, next week, and the, and the week after. The Torah seems to be teaching us to live conscious and responsible lives. And that's what I believe this passage of this week's Torah portion is teaching us. Well, I hope that you will read this week's Torah portion. Maybe you'll go to your synagogue and celebrate Shabbat with your congregation. But in one way or another, celebrate Torah and celebrate Judaism. Shabbat Shalom.